Hello, and welcome back to my Legacy Challenge. We are going to pick right up where we left off from before. And as you can see, Zoe is still upset. So upset that I made her go try her baby and talk to her husband that she barely knows. So we'll see how this goes. Attempt number one for try for baby. Come on! Give us a baby! Now, when I first started this challenge, I thought you had to do perfect genetics also. So this one's going to be slightly different because I'm mixing two different legacy challenges together. An actual legacy challenge and the perfect genetics challenge. So this is going to make it a lot more difficult. The rules of the challenge are posted online and they're also in the description of my first video. But if you cannot get to them from there, they are also on my Facebook page. And you can find me at Asasalee's Dreams. That's I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S -E -E Dreams, all one word. And you can get to the, the rules that I'm using from there. Now, I have chosen for my gender law, strict equality. This means the founder may be of either gender. However, only children of the opposite gender to the founder are eligible to be named heir. For this reason, my founder this time is a male, so his next heir has to be a female. And this does alternate every other generation, so because it's going to be female this time, when my next generation has her youngest child, it must be a male to continue this. Now for bloodline law, I have chosen the last born. The youngest by order of joining the family is el the eligible named heir. This is going to make it even more difficult with the perfect genetic challenge because not only do they have to have dad's hair color and eye color, but they also have to be the youngest and alternating sexes. So we could end up with a couple generations that have like 25 children apiece. That should make it really interesting and crazy for myself. For the air law, I chose traditional. Children that who are naturally born from the previous generation are eligible to be named heir. Adopted children are ineligible unless there are no naturally born children to the previous generation. For my species law, I have selected tolerant. Because I don't really care if my heir happens to be human, alien. When we, if we get supernatural, they can be fairies, werewolves, vampires, whichever they choose to give us. I've heard a few rumors, but I'm not sure if they are true or not, that it's going to be a Harry Potter type supernatural pack. I'm really hoping they stick to that, because that would make a lot of people stay. But let's get back to the challenge. Now, clean this so we can take a pregnancy test. Fangibs Little Miss Zoe Fruit. Uh, yeah, I know, you're always upset. She's always upset. You don't want to tell this girl to go eat? Do everything she needs to do? Oh, she's so mad. Hmm. Hurry up and calm down, you have things to do. Mm, I know your house I sucks are... and all that stuff, but <sighs> really your life is not that bad. Except that puke green toilet, can you imagine? Oh, no baby, darn it. Better luck next time. Well, next time's gonna happen really soon, Zoe, so you better get over the fact that you're tired. Because Mr. G.J. Fruit needs a baby. Now, G.J. is my founder for my first generation. <laughs> The wonderful gentleman in the green hair. He is available in the gallery under Fruit Legacy. The family is also in the gallery as Fruit Legacy 2. And I have stated this in a previous video. Be careful if you download Fruit Legacy 2 because GJ Fruit is pregnant. He was abducted at an unfortunate time and became pregnant. You will see that in, I believe, the next episode. Oh, come on, GJ and Zoe, let's make a baby this time. Hello. Give us a baby. Now, I don't like that they don't have toddlers. I really don't understand that. 
that was one of the biggest selling points for me in Sims 3 was how creative they really got with interactions you could have with the toddlers. And I'm missing that. Probably more than I miss the open world, although that has to be a big issue too. If they would bring those two things back, I would be the happiest Simmer in the world. Because we've almost gone back to the original Sims when you have a child and you either start out with a baby that goes instantly to a child or you just had a child you had with no baby. I need the in-between. I don't know about you guys. So I'm really hoping they fix that soon. Now. GJ. He's happy. He's so easy to please. I love this little dude. And I decided to upload them as two separate entities. There are some people out there that are not going to want a duplicate of Zoe. Um, if you have not watched the previous episode, she is already in your game and she'll be running around your town somewhere. I happened to run into her when we got Newcrest. And I sent GJ shopping, but I did see her earlier than that, so I don't think she came with the Ow. retail pack. So that is why there's two different listings. One with just GJ Fruit by himself, one with GJ Zoe and a child that you will eventually see. I don't want to give it away for anybody. Yeah, hurry up in your dirty ice kitchen. Look at them. They know they don't have a maid and they can't go clean that up every no, you gotta go tell them. I do like after a while how you tell them to do stuff and they will automatically do it on their own. Like after you tell them a couple times to wash their hands after they go to the bathroom, they will just start doing it automatically. If you don't do that, I've noticed that they will not seem to pick up the straight as easy. No. It's just a helpful little tip for those of you that have, are like me that believe you should wash your hands when you go to the bathroom because it's just nasty. Now, let's go eat us some ham. No, let's not ham. Eggs, toast, bacon looks like. I forgot what I told the man to make. I do think I want to change Zoe's clothes, but that's not going to be for a few more episodes because I do want everyone to be familiar with what she looks like and see what comes out of her as she is. I don't want to change her face or, or her looks or anything, but I do think I want to change her outfit. Now this is the house. You can find it on the gallery, Legacy Fixer Upper, for anyone that wants to play it as it is right now. And again, that's under Isosceles Dreams. You can find me there. And it's pretty basic. I mean, we had to build this in piecemeal already so far, and it doesn't look like much. So it's definitely a starter house. And even if you're not playing a Legacy Challenge, it could be good for you to use for a beginning couple if you want to make it more realistic. Or if you want to have a carpenter and have him put build the house in pieces. Or decorate it, add on to it. I have put this lot on Oakenstead. You don't really need a lot that big for this house, but for the Legacy Challenge, you do have to have a 50 by 50 lot. So this is the lot that was available in this city. And she doesn't ex have very much, but he does. But we want to sell some things to make some money. They're still kind of broke. <laughs> I wanted to make GJ actually a carpenter or woodworker, but besides the woodworking table, there's really not a career for that. There's not a lot of skills for that. That is something they could come up with in the future. Yay, we have a baby! Woohoo! Save it for that. Deletes. Every once in a while, I notice when a new pack expansion or something comes out, Quimble I do Reggie get a couple Hill. glitches or bugs um, where you'll save your game, <laughs> go back to play it the next day, and it's not the save that you remember. It'll be a couple saves prior to that, so I have gotten in the habit of saving often. 
down. Also, when the servers tend to get overloaded, you'll just get kicked out of your game randomly. It is random. For me, it's been a little rare for that to happen. Usually the memory on my computer also has to be stoked out a bit, but I have seen people that don't have a computer issue have this happen every once in a while. When new packs come out. <laughs> I am grateful they finally stopped from having to <laughs> uninstall and install everything every time a pack came out. That happened at the last the Luxury Party pack, I believe. Now, I told you I got GJ a job as a detective and we lost that second video file. So, video number two, entitled Lost File, like, explains that a little bit further. But basically, we're about day three or four on at his job. So I decided to follow him today to give you just an idea. If you want more of a look at this, check out my get to work videos. But please be mindful I did not know how to narrate yet at that time and edit audio files. So they still do not have narration, but they will eventually. Now he needs to go talk to the chief. To do this, you just have to talk to him once or twice until you get the proper interaction to show up. It's not automatic. A lot of you are going to go try to talk to the chief and think a friendly interaction will do it. There's actually a talk to chief option, but it doesn't show up right away. Also, if you cancel out any chief interactions, it tends to cancel out talk to chief. So when you do finally get it, do not cancel anything out between... If he's telling you a joke or whatever, just listen to it for a second, because otherwise you can lose that option. <laughs> And he'll either get promoted or yelled at. See, there we go. Talk to Chief. But it does tend to either... I found more often than not you'll get a performance gain as long as you're pretty happy and your performance is halfway decent. Zifu and Pomatash? Hi, Chief. How are you? There's somebody back there is talking about love. Okay, we can start it over because we somehow screwed it up. Come on, GJ. Swobin using All you have to do is talk to the chief man. It's not that complicated, buddy. You've got a pregnant woman at home. You need to make the promotion. You need a promotion. You need to build rooms. You have children coming. Oops. And I'm not really sure I'm going to keep him in this job because it doesn't really fit with what I wanted for him. But I had a feeling I would sometimes get bored in the house. So I gave him a career where we'd get out of the house a little bit. Sometimes. There are going to be times I'm just going to send him alone and we're not going to follow him to work. Because it just gets tedious sometimes. <laughs> Excuse me. Over here, we've been having nothing but terrible storms driving lately, and it's messing with my allergies, so I do apologize. Here we go. Talk to Chief again. Let's try this again, GJ. Try number two. Because you're wasting a lot of our day doing this when we need to travel to our crime scene. And I think this has to be one of the funnest jobs, though, so far. Although I haven't really gotten extremely deep into the doctor or scientist yet, I love going on patrol with these cops. It just gives a whole new element to the game and gives you a lot more things to do. And if you really are a cop enthusiast or really like that type of aspect, you'll love this. The Get to Work expansion and the Outdoor Retreat to me, it has been the best oh. ones thus far. I did get spa day today, but I have not been in to play it yet. That will be a couple more episodes down the road. We'll, we'll send Zoe and GJ there to relax. And we'll see what that looks like. Now, he's going to go over to this machine and study evidence. It tends to be used at all three careers. So it's a good idea to put one in your home or your town somewhere. So you don't have to buy them for everybody. And we will see you next episode. Happy simming.